always try to reiterate that the setting of bond is not um, a sentencing. It is not a determination of the facts of the case or the guilt or the innocence of the individual. Under the court rules, statute, the Constitution of the state of Michigan, bond has to do with two primary factors. One is flight risk, one is danger to the community. By setting a bond, I am not in any way, shape, or form expressing an opinion about the viability of these charges or the guilt or innocence of this individual. Now, in terms of flight risk, I have an individual who's been aware of these charges for two years. Uh, he returned to the state of Michigan voluntarily to turn himself in. In terms of flight risk, uh, I, I can't ask for much more. Uh, so I, I'm not seeing any flight risk. Now, the issue of, well, now that the charges are here, now he's potentially facing you know, conviction that might cause him to um, run. That's always a possibility, but I don't believe that it's a viable possibility at this point. If that comes, that may come later in the process. And frankly, I think he fully understands, and I'm sure Mr. Hills has discussed with him the fact that running from charges does not help in any way, shape, or form. Doesn't help your position at trial. It does not help um, with your uh, potential loss of freedoms. In terms of the danger to the community, when you, when you look at these charges, these are very, very, very serious charges. Uh, they are punishable by potentially significant uh, prison time. The maximum appears uh, the number of offenses with a maximum penalty of 20 years uh, in prison and a number with 15 years prison maximum. And that reflects the seriousness of these charges. And one quick question before I go to the next step. These four individuals who are listed by initials, yes. uh, they are in the Kalamazoo area still, I take it? Um, I believe all but one, Your Honor. Okay, but they're not anywhere near where he's currently living? No. Okay. Um, separation between a, a victim, victims and a um, defendant is an important um, consideration. Um, also, as an important consideration here, this was a long investigation, and I certainly understand why, because this is a complex um, investigation that, um, I, I, I'm, as I see the probable cause uh, statement, the probable cause statement itself is one of the larger ones I've ever seen. So a lot of work obviously went into this. I don't see at this moment in time that there's sufficient there's there's danger to these four individuals by Mr. Strickland under these circumstances. Two years ago, that's a different story. But we're not here two years ago. We're here today. And today I have to determine whether he's a danger to the community. He's working a horse farm in Mississippi. I don't see that as an issue with these individuals. Is Mr. Strickland aware? I'm not going to say the names in the record. I'm going to say the initials. Is he aware who these individuals are so that he will not in any way, shape, or form have contact with them or no contact with any of those individuals with those initials? And if you will explain to him who they are, so there's no accidental contact. And obviously we don't want any intentional contact. 
At this point, I'm going to set the bond at 500,000 PR. I think that reflects the fact that it is a serious case, but at this moment in time, there's no flight risk, and the fact that the parties are completely separated by hundreds of miles, and there hasn't been any contact in the last two years, I am not here to punish Mr. Strickland. I am here to uh, deal with the issue of flight risk and the immediacy of public safety, and I believe that this bond does that. There will be no assaultive behavior, no contact with those individuals. Is there anything else, Mr. Hills? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Anything else for the people? Would the court, um, I, I realize this is somewhat of a strange request, but I did note on the bond recommendation, I, I am asking that the defendant not have contact with his wife, Jasmine E. Strickland. I was not aware she was involved in a, um, a problematic pregnancy until today, obviously. Right. The concern is, and I think Attorney Hills is probably aware from, as he said, his own investigation that began two years ago as well. Um, Jasmineek is the wife of the uh, defendant. Um, as the bond recommendation indicates, she was directly involved with many of these incidents um, and is under investigation as well. I don't think that's a surprise to anyone. Um, and. Obviously, the people would not like them to uh, have this time to discuss the case and um, things like that between themselves, uh, and there's no way to monitor that when they are in Mississippi. I understand. One thing I did neglect to add was I am allowing him to live in Mississippi during the interim as long as he's available for court. Thank you. Um, and you know, Mr. Strickland, that if you do not come to court, uh, you will be arrested very quickly in Mississippi and you will be extradited to the state of Michigan and uh, having seen the results of individuals being extradited from state to state, it is not a pleasant process and it is not something that you want to experience. You need to stay in touch with Mr. Hills if you do in fact request counsel from the public defender's office. We will do that and you will still need to maintain contact with those uh, those attorneys also. Um, yes, yes, Your I, Honor. I'm, I'm not going to add the wife as a no contact at this point. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. I think she, her case stands on the, its own merits. Okay, thank you.